let's get to the the photos that were chosen for the uh, photography segment uh, for our photography challenge from last month. Uh, and again, I want to thank everybody that submitted a picture at the Focus on Photography group on Facebook. Uh, and we're going to have uh, tonight's uh, photography assignment is what, Michael? What is our new assignment for the month of January? I would like you to take a picture of something funny, cool, and interesting. Funny? And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it up to you then. Funny? Funny, cool, and interesting. Funny, cool, and interesting. Funny, cool. And I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna say any more because I'm gonna leave that up to you. Okay. Talking primate just said they're yeah, all three and one. No, it doesn't have to be all three and one. Uh, that would be nice, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, great. I just thought it would be something interesting. Okay. Funny, cool, and interesting. Well, all right. Well, Wisconsin is pretty funny and and cold right now. And uh, well, the interesting part is that's a whole other issue. No. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was going to say. When I say cool, I don't mean as in cold. I mean oh, as in like the little slang term, cool. I got you. I got you. I'm just having a little bit of fun with you, Michael. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it feels like a dream. <laughs> well, over here at Pecker Pokes, it's always a dream. Uh, <laughs> it's just a dream of being here. You're poking at my dream. <laughs> poking at the dream. You can join Michael on his podcast at mogrephypotography.wordpress.com, and he is also on iTunes. So you can find him there. Uh, this last week, he did a uh, podcast with Dan, who used to be on the show here. He hasn't been on the show in a while. Uh, is uh, real unrelated, and uh, on Twitter, and uh, it was a very informative and fun podcast for that show. So if you're out on iTunes, perusing what to look for, uh, give uh, his uh, show a follow. Uh, Michael, let's take a look at that first picture, and here it is. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. It's trees. Since we had the option of the uh, the thing of tilt, uh, what is uh, th what is the the relevation to tilt with this uh, particular picture there, Michael? Well, what attracted me to this picture here, it, I thought it was a, a a fascinating photo because um, I've talked about on my own podcast before rule of thirds. Mm -hmm. Now, a rule of thirds is where you get the what you're taking and wanting to people to have their eyes focus on directly in the middle and what that means is is you get the lines from the each corner from up and down and left and right exactly centered so that when um you take it your eyes focus on exactly what you want so with this picture I liked it because of the fact that you can tell that the person's had to go on their knees and point the camera upwards. Huh. Now, when they've done this, they've basically made your eyes focus on the sky above. But what they've cleverly done is made it so that your eyes have to go from the bottom of the photo upwards. And if you notice carefully when looking at the photo, your eyes will slightly continuously do that, even if it's ever so slightly, but you'll notice your eyes go back down to the bottom momentarily and then back up again. And that's a good thing about rule of thirds because it always makes you focus on what they wanted by making you always slightly move your eyes about. Hmm. Oh, by the way, we should mention that this photo is by Aaron uh, Gherkin Kemp Kempfer. He just joined the Focus on Photography group almost at the last minute and he got this photo in and... He says it's a couple of years old, but it's, it's still one he took. It's it's a very nice picture. All right, let's see, let's show the uh, next picture here. It's from our person who is not here tonight because she is not feeling well. Uh, that would be Crystal Says So. Now, this uh, it's a nice little tree that's going on here with the angle, the tilting of the, the branch out into space. At least that's what I'm seeing of the picture. What what are you seeing, Michael? You you know more about this photography stuff than I do. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an amateur. <laughs> That's all right. Um, uh, with this photo, what I'm seeing is basically I'm I'm seeing the the tree tilting slightly uh -huh. and the picture taken straight. Now, what what we're seeing here is the thing that gives us the tilt in this photo is more the branches coming off because as they're coming off, they're going off in an angle, uh -huh. which gives us the, the gives us the tilt. Now, I think the reason why most people like this one is because of the fact that you've got the concept of tilt in there. But you, but it's more of the color scheme in this one, which has attracted people. Huh. Because if you notice slightly, what she's done is, is she's got the blue from the sky, 
the white from the clouds and the green from the trees in the background right. all making their own line. And if you notice, ah. because of the way she's taken the photo, there's also a nice tilt there as well. So yeah. that that's sticking to the element of tilt, but also making it interesting to the point of you've got to kind of look at it and go, right, that's sky, that's clouds, that's trees. Mm -hmm. And then you get that concept of... Now, this is another third you can get called colour thirds. Hmm. Now, what you do with colour thirds is you focus on a grey or a white area. Now, in this photo, they focused on a white area. And what that does is that tells the camera, right, this is where the colour is coming from. So the colour in this picture is bright. So by the colour being bright, the camera has to work out, okay, let's turn the tone down a bit. Right. So then right. that way you get the focus of colour that you're actually after. Hmm. So if you're, if you're doing a black and white photo, you would, uh, for example, you'd focus on a grey area so that you get... A dark you get a bright photo and if you're doing a color photo you have two options where if it's a dark day focus on something white and if it's a bright day focus on something gray or black huh. and then w another thing with the tilt is with the branches on the top of the tree in the foreground here you've got the the fact that the leaves bounce off like that and that gives us another tilt so in this photo you can actually see millions and well not millions but you can see quite a few tilts and huh. angles going down absolutely that's yeah that's i would have never saw that in that picture but uh yeah that guess you look at it at a tilted ass tree you won't be looking at it quite the same again <laughs> especially if you get your camera with you so oh yes absolutely all right well thank you so much michael uh for uh, telling about why these particular ones got the the most likes and everything like that remember we got the it's cool what was it again michael it was what it cool. was cool funny and interesting cool funny and interesting all right so get those cameras out everybody we'll have we'll have the uh we'll be beating back here in about a month on this segment so you can get your photos in and see what we got <laughs>